Welcome back, I'm Andrew Jean. Today we're gonna to be starting in my bathroom. Ladies, it has been, I'd like to say weeks since I've cleaned it, but honestly, I think it's been months. That's the truth. So we are absolutely gonna start in there. But before we get into that, today's video is a collaboration with Work It Mama Lifestyle. She is so gorgeous, y'all. She is so beautiful. And her and I have actually connected since the onset, pretty much, of my YouTube journey here. So when you're done here, I want you to go ahead, check out her YouTube channel. I'll have it linked in the description box below. She is vibrant. She's beautiful. I know I've said that a million times. I think you'll really enjoy her content. Very similar stuff going on. So all right, without further ado, let's get this bathroom whipped into shape, head upstairs, and also put me on your TV, your iPad, your phone, because this is going to be over 30 minutes of jam-packed, fun cleaning motivation. Yes, cleaning can be fun, and we're going to make it fun, so let's do it. First, we're going to start off with a nice smelling candle. This one is a heirloom pumpkin. I got this one at Joanne Fabric, and I love it. It smells absolutely delicious. Then we're going to go in with this Method Bathroom Cleaner. This is just a really nice, fresh, crisp scent. And I like it because there's not a lot of harsh chemicals in it, and I feel better about it, especially in the bathtub with my kids. But I want you all to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to take you through a chore that I have been putting off and putting off, and I hope to motivate you to do the same. I know cleaning is enough like trying to stay on top of it if you can even stay on top of it but it's easy to put those chores that we don't get to um, off but I'm going to hopefully motivate you to do the same we're also going to do a 5 a.m cleaning in this video at some point because you know mama's got to clean when mama's got to clean we're going to bust out my steamer you all this video is jam-packed so clean alongside me and let's get to it that time it's coming of the daytime i just really like to show appreciation for all of you ladies that support my channel in today's comment and this is so fitting at this time it's from in with jen she also has a youtube channel and girl i love those downy infusions they are making our laundry smell awesome it's just those little things that you do in your cleaning routines that make such a difference so i also like to stock up at target in fact ladies i bought i think four of them because it was buy three get a ten dollar gift card or something like that but i'm gonna have jen's channel linked in the description box below so if you're looking for some additional cleaning motivation check her out
ladies, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but my neighbor is mowing his or her lawn. So if you could kindly go over there and tell them to stop, that would be great. No, I'm just kidding, but they are seriously mowing their lawn. So if you can hear that, that's what's going on there. Also, if you ever see the baby bump the tripod or one of the kids, that's just how it goes. I got a five-year-old, three-year-old, and a one-year-old. Good morning. It is so early. It is just after 5 a.m. I got up at 4. I got myself together. But I want to get the kitchen clean before the kids get up because we have such a busy day today. I mean, that's how it goes, right? This channel is dedicated to cleaning and organizing for busy women. And sometimes you clean at 10 o'clock at night and sometimes you clean at 5 a.m. So cheers, mama. Let's head into the kitchen and get some stuff done. The magic eraser here this is also our craft table and it works like a charm getting pretty much anything out of here so i recommend that if you have not used it also if you're cleaning alongside me we are almost at the 10 minute mark which means we're a third of the way done so keep hustling mama keep hustling we are almost there in this sprint cleaning like i like to call it because a lot of times you don't have an hour you may have 30 minutes to tidy up around your house in fact when i create these videos i'm often sprinting in 30 minute increments but if i were just to do that you'd have like a two minute video so i compile them um, throughout the day throughout the week because that is realistically how you clean as a busy mom or a busy woman, I would say most of the time. Also, if you are not following me here on uh, Instagram, Instagram stories in particular, it's Andrea Jean one, please go ahead and check me out over there. Also, Carrie is a good friend of mine on the Instagram community. She is a mama as well. She also has a YouTube channel. It goes under the name Carrie O'Neill. On Instagram, she's Carrie Amanda. Um, I apologize, it's a little grayed out here on screen, but I thank you for voting me for best Instagram stories. I do put a ton of work into them because I just love connecting with you all. So, all right, back into the cleaning. Like I said, we are at the 10 minute mark.
So this is just a little glimpse into our morning routine with three kids cleaning in the morning, getting them a lunch, getting everybody breakfast and out the door as needed. So it's definitely a busy time, but I do try to do some cleaning um, throughout in the morning just to kind of, well, <laughs> my house still becomes a complete disaster, but it makes me feel a little bit better about that. All right, stay tuned here because in the next several minutes, I'm going to actually show you a duvet cover trick. We are over the halfway point of this sprint cleaning 30 minutes. I cannot wait to hear what you got done around your house. I'm very excited about that. If you saw in my fridge there, there was a whiteboard. Now I've tried all kinds of different options when it comes to grocery lists. And this one I'm liking. Currently this is this is the current status quo here. So that way anybody can put anything they want on the list there. A lot of times my husband would be like, we need this or that. And now I can just say, honey, put it on the whiteboard. So I'm enjoying that. Also, stay tuned here because again, remember, I'm going to be showing you a project that I have been putting off around my house.
terrible about actually cleaning these floors. I want to say I do it once a week, but sometimes I honestly think it's every other week just because it's so time consuming and I end up doing everything else around the kitchen first and then being able to get to these floors is so tricky, especially with little kids running around. That's a challenge as well. So I did find here doing it bright and early in the morning was helpful. Um, especially if my kids weren't up or maybe they were occupied with a show. But yeah, it's definitely hard to get these floors clean. It feels nice when it's done. I am so excited, hopefully in the next week or two, see that big storage closet back there. Well, my husband's been storing stuff for his reselling business in there, but he's gonna clear it out and I'm gonna finally make it a good size pantry, at least put some overflow stuff in there. I got a whole new shoe rack to really organize things in there. Like, I'm very excited, so stay tuned for that one. So here is the duvet cover trick. I'm also going to link a video below another way to put on a duvet cover. So two ways that I have here in my channel to show you this one, you're going to want to turn it inside out and then you're going to put your fingers on the outside end and you kind of just um, flip it in on each other. I don't know if that makes sense, but 
pull it inside out, grab the ends, and then flip it over like you see that I'm doing here. Now it's a lot easier to do this sort of method when it's just a twin comforter because it's much smaller. Um, so definitely check out the video below that I have linked here. It shows, I show you, it's, I mean, it's just amazing. I, it's very cool. I'll say that, but, uh, two ways here to do that duvet cover. I know it's a little crazy. I was steaming this comforter, but I hate wrinkles on the comforter. You know, it's one of the first things that you see when you go into a bedroom. So I, I figure if I put all the work into cleaning the bedroom, I wanted the, uh, the comforter to look nice. That wasn't perfect by any means, but it did look a lot better than when I had pulled it out of the, uh, the laundry and the, the dryer there. But coming soon in the next video, I actually have new bedding for my daughter's room and hopefully we'll get this wrinkle situation under control. Nothing like cleaning toilets and doing hair, but that's just how it goes, right? I find that cleaning the bathroom often is easiest. Like, you know, if my kids are brushing their teeth and there's like maybe a few idle minutes and I love just having these quick antibacterial wipes on hand so that I can do quick cleanups like that. Let me know in the comments, do you do this as well? So you know, I always like to do some sort of extra project that I've been putting off for the end of my video so that I can also motivate you to do the same because if I don't have the extra boost of motivation to do like the things above and beyond normal cleaning, I do not get them done. So thank you also for motivating me. But I'm so excited to show you these. You might have seen them in my cleaning videos. Let me know in the comments below. But they are finally up. Let's look at them. Here they are. 
Our height charts are hung. They are so cute, so adorable. We just put them here at the bottom of our steps. I thought that would be a great place when you come down here. Um, as you can see, the basement is a mess again. That's how it goes as a mom for sure. Um, but when you come down here, I just thought it would be so fitting to put all of them here. I actually got these on Etsy and there's a ton of shops um, on Etsy that do make these. You could probably make these yourself, but for me, it just wasn't worth the time. And this is actually from a company in Canada. Um, we did order stickers for them. Actually, let's see if any of them are still on here. We might have taken them all off. Um, but there were these really cute like arrow stickers that we had, but they just would peel off. So my husband now is actually just writing in them, which I kind of like because it's more of a personalized touch um, when you use your own handwriting. So that's what we got going on. I always loved height charts as a kid um, and just seeing like how much I've grown and um, I think my kids also enjoy these as well, but it's so nice to have them up for our three kids, <laughs> Natalie, Matthew, and Andrew. And uh, I guess we'll see who's gonna be the tallest. We have predictions that it's gonna be my third son, Andrew. We kind of think my middle son or my middle child might be maybe on the shorter side here, but anything could happen. Have any of you done these sort of height charts? Let me know, I just think they're so adorable. So if you have some extra time in your hands and you wanna keep the fun going, I have two playlists linked in the description box below where we can continue to clean together. Think of me as your cleaning buddy where we bring a little bit of glam to cleaning and mom life.